Sorry about that camera right there, but I figured we'd just run the two. D-Max versus 5-3. It's actually a pretty good race. All right, guys, so uh, what's going on here? Rebel Mechanics checking back in with you. But uh, today is kind of exciting because I got all the parts for this uh, Duramax in. I guess I'll show them to you. I got my new injectors. I don't have the head gasket kit with me, but um, I'll show you guys these brand new Bosch uh, injectors for cost me 1800 bucks for all eight of them so they come with a little retainer but um i don't really want to unwrap them quite yet but they're all new all genuine bosch uh injectors i've heard some bad things about kind of aftermarket ones are a little cheaper but just went ahead and went with the bosch ones so that way i shouldn't have any problems with them um, I'm just not opening this thing up, but this is a repair manual for this truck. So, gonna need this to do the head gaskets and stuff. Definitely gonna help out. This was like, I don't even remember how much. It wasn't that expensive, so I figured why not. So in this box right here, I got eight new uh, fuel lines. Because I've heard from the research I've been doing that if you um, if you don't replace the fuel lines, a lot of times they can have some debris in them, which can cause some issues with the new injectors. So I got these new, they're eight dollars. I got them off of eBay for like 170 some, 180 somewhere around there dollars. But um, so that's that's it pretty much. So the only thing I don't have is my head gasket kit, which um, I have a full kit from Lincoln Diesel but uh, it was about 600 bucks. I didn't go with uh, head studs. I know some people are gonna give me shit about that, but really this truck, the plan with it is to just tune it on EFI Live and uh, pretty much just go from there. I don't think it'll, I need a transmission before I can make crazy power, so it's probably gonna run on a 100 horse tune, which with stock head bolts should not be a problem at all. Uh, I've heard that you can run like close to 600 with the stock head bolts on these trucks. So that's what I'm going to do. I got the better improved GM grade C gaskets with that. But um, yeah. So just a quick little update on the 5.3. Uh, put new all new plugs and wires on this thing. And uh, it seemed to take care of the misfire and bring back a lot of the power. So it's running pretty good now. But uh <laughs> This is new. Uh, <laughs> bumper fell off today. Literally fell off. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this thing's obviously been in a wreck before, but uh, they sketchily made some brackets and welded them on there. And that thin ass metal, and that was the only thing holding the bumper on. So it finally just gave with all the hell we've raised in this thing. But yeah, there's an update on the 5 3 Chev. All right, well, I'm sure you guys are wondering what's going on with the comments here. We'll uh, finally beg mommy and daddy enough to give me a few thousand dollars to fix this thing up right. So um, uh, I'm going to order the time and cover gasket as a kit and then going to uh, get the tunes redone. But uh, on the real, uh, this thing may be a month at the most from now to get back on the road and really driving because... I can't fit it. I, I don't want to start on it and tear into it and it be something else than just a time and cover gasket. So uh, I'm waiting for my uncle to he, to free up one weekend, one Saturday. We're going to go out there, me and Jack, and uh, tear into this thing and hopefully get it done in the day. Uh, yeah, he's, he's one of the best diesel mechanics around, so uh, we'll definitely have... We'll definitely be able to get it knocked out in a day. I mean, if it's just that gasket, but uh, got the right tools to got the space. Everything we need, space, tools, and and the knowledge. So it's there. Uh, hopefully, maybe that Sunday, get this thing reflashed and get some better tunes on it and getting it really running right. And I mean, it'll be on the road. We'll get get y'all some videos. Uh, but with the tunes, uh, I'm I'm really not sure what tunes I want to go with. I've heard good things about EFI Live, the Anarchy tunes or whatever. But uh, I mean, if y'all drop in the comments if you know anything about uh, 
what you'd really prefer, your recommendations to what to run on these fourth gen 6.7s. Uh, this one's a six speed, if you don't know, but uh, yeah, just uh, leave in the comments what you think's best for that. Also, uh, really trying to pick up either some gauges or a monitor, so uh, also with that, uh, leave what you rather prefer and what, what's better. Uh, I'd like to go, I was going to go with the Edge CTS2, but uh, it said for the 2011 six speed, the manuals, it does not, it won't work for that, so for some reason, so just uh, leave in the comments what you think. Alright, so I know there's some fans out there, this Cavalier, the Turb Cav, but um, Jacob can kind of tell you what's going on. We got a couple of small little issues that need to be addressed before it can really be driven on the road. But uh, yeah. So when we took it out for the test run, uh, right here is our, like, our main clutch line, and um, it completely melted in half. I didn't. I didn't even think to put any heat tape on it. It's a metal put, line, so we kind of figured no, it would plastic. be all right. It's, a, it's, it's like plastic. Nylon, it's it's nylon plastic, hmm. something, but uh, melted right in half. And so uh, I put some fuel line on it. I cut cut two clean ends and ran some fuel line hose clamps and put this heat tape on it. Yeah. But uh, it, we couldn't get it to bleed. There must still be air. So I ordered a new clutch line off of Rock Auto, twenty four bucks, something like that. So just waiting on it to come in, and I put more uh, heat tape, heat wrap on there. So hopefully, it, hopefully it'll hold this time. Yeah. That's kind of the main issue we've ran into with this design. It's just that it's, this is a small engine compartment. There's not a lot of room. This is really the only spot we could have put the turbo, and it the manifold runs real close to some wires. So this is heat wrapped, and this has this insulated tape on it. The wires haven't given us an issue yet, but. Uh, the clutch line, which was even closer, it was literally yeah, right it was, up against. It was it just, on again. It was literally leaning. Yeah, on. we should have. We didn't adjust that. Was a that stupid mistake. But um, I guess that's pretty much it for this. Hopefully, we can get it up. Whenever those parts come in, we should just be able to get it ready. fixed and. Definitely get more clips because everything. Every time this thing turns on, y'all, y'all will know about it. Yeah. So just stay tuned. Yeah.